Hello card fighters from around the world, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be having a look at a very budget Nova Grappler deck, Heroes. It's actually quite a lot of fun and I think it's the most, probably the most diverse deck that Nova Grapplers have in standard so it's definitely worth having a look into if you just want to, you know, a quick build, easy, fun time. So yeah, just jump straight in and hope you enjoy. Um, Sling Bastard, you know. Same starter. It's a hero starter, so that's what it counts, I suppose. For grade threes, I run three copies of Battle Door Fighter, one of the original hero units. Your skill is act once per turn on Vanguard only. Uh, counter plus one, cell plus one, choose one of your units for the battle that that unit attacked. While your opponent calls guardians, he has to call two or more. And his other skill is when he attacks a vanguard, and if you have three or more regards, you get 5k. Um, the way this deck works, he's almost always going to get the 5k, and he's a good, he, he's a good sort of late game when your opponent's hand is get low, they're on damage, and they have to just throw everything out. So three of him's nice. Next, I run three copies of another hero unit, Savannah Wild. Uh, this one people might question, but I don't know. Is his skill is auto vanguard regard when placed, counter blast one, soul blast two, retire all the your opponent's regards in the same column as this unit, and if one or less units were retired, he gets fifteen k. So if they only have one unit in the column, you burn it, and he gets fifteen k. So he's twenty seven k for that turn, which is you know nice, good fun. I I like having him at two or three. Um, then I run two copies of Girly Dolly, whose skill simple, Vanguard Rearguard. If you have five or more heroes on your rearguards, all of your guardians get 10k. So having her on the field sort of makes up for um, throwing a lot of cards under the hand because it means every shield is 10k stronger. So yeah, it kind of makes up for the hand deficit that you give yourself at times. So she's very good at two. I'm considering bumming her to like three because I like sitting on her mid game. Uh, and then finally, I run two copies of Miss Splendor. She doesn't have an Excel circle, but she's a really good rearguard unit if you can get her onto like an Excel circle or something. It's when your other hero attacks until the end of that battle, your opponent can't intercept. And if you have a rearguard, if you have more rearguards than your opponent, that unit also gets 3k. So why this is really good is because it procs for every single hero attack. So basically, if you have her on the field, your opponent just can't intercept at all. So it's very nice having her in a, you know, in a far off, in one of the far off rearguard positions, or even in the back row if you don't want to use her in your front row, because she just gets that nice skill going. So definitely, definitely as a good two of as a backup on, like a tech card, it's really good. Um... And you might have noticed that I'm not running Spinning Valiant at all. That's because I don't think Spinning Valiant's actually that good. Having a, I think it's a Count Blast 4 cost, so, you know, everything has to attack a Vanguard. And, you know, it, it's, you can pretty much only do it once. And it's just, I don't like it, you know. I feel like you're very restricted to one thing. Whereas, you know, having these gives you more range in what you can do. On to grade twos, I run four copies of Stylish Hustler. He's the best grade two in his deck by far. His first skill is when your other rearguard is retired by the ability of your opponent's card, you can Soul Blast one and put it into your hand. So basically, you know, he, he allows you to say if unless he's the one being taken out, it allows you to save a unit. Um, as long as you have Soul, you can save the unit per retire ability i'm pretty sure it is so if it's like a retire two you can pick one and save it um and that sort of thing its other skill which is why it's really good is when it attacks this unit gets 3k until the end of that battle for each card in your damage zone so the later the game goes the stronger this gets and the harder it is to stop so you know it has a ceiling of 24 goes up to 24k by itself without any boosts or extra skills so must play four if you're playing heroes 
And, you know, if you can take it into other Nova Grappler decks, I don't see why you wouldn't. It's just really nice. Then I run four copies of Fever Rocketeer. So his first skill is generic. During the battle, it attacks a Vanguard. It gets 3k, so it's a 12k attacker. Its other skill is when it intercepts, you can Soul Blast one and it gets 10k. But it's only when intercepting for the Vanguard swing. Or when your Vanguard's getting attacked. So it's kind of cool because if you can throw it to the front and, you know, intercept with it, it's a 15k shield. If you happen to be sitting on Girly Dolly, then it becomes a 25k intercept, which is really funny. So I like playing it at four. Helps with the defense of the deck. Um, this deck does have a bit of extra defense to help with the lack of hand. And then finally for grade twos, you run three copies of, well, I run three copies of Boomerang Thrower, which is, you know, basically the only resource card. Well, not the only, there's one other. Um, both of the skills are the same. When placed, if you have one or less face-up counter charge, if you have one or less soul, soul charge. So if you're really low on resources, you throw them down and he gets you another one. So three is fine. So, you know. Under grade ones, play four copies of Smash Masher. What a name that is. Uh, this is a really nice grade one. I really like it. It's really good in um, the late game as well. His first skill is Regard. When it attacks, you can counter blast one and it gets 5k until the end of that battle for each card in your damage zone. So if you're right at the end on five damage, he's a 33k by himself. <laughs> So you, you throw him in the front row, give him an extra 25k, and just bang. His other skill is, at the end of your turn, if you have a grade 3 hero vanguard, put this into the soul and counter charge 1, so he's your other resource unit. Um, which is why you only need 3 of the other guy, or even 2 if you really want. But 4 of this is like a must in heroes. It's very good. Next, pay 4 copies of... Rolling Extender. He's got two skills. He gets 5k during your turn, so he's an automatic 13k wherever he is. And the second skill is he can only attack or boost um, attacks that are going to the Vanguard. So he cannot interact with your opponent's regards. It has to be Vanguard centric, but that's fine. Having a you know a 13k base on the board means it even it can hit any. Vanguard, with the exception of MLB when it's got the um, dudes in there. But yeah, so four of him is really good because he's he's just a generic 13k booster, which is really good. Or a 13k attacker if you're um, needing it. And then finally for grade ones, four copies of Crit Bengal. Uh, this thing as a tech is really nice because being able to put a front trigger on top of the deck just guarantees that this de that your turn's going to hit that much harder. So four of these is I really cool. I, I just really enjoy having those. Um, especially when your opponent knows it's coming. It's just sort of like, oh no. Um, under triggers, I run six fronts. Like I said, because with Crit Bengal, you can put them back on. Um, I do often toss up bumping it to 8, but 6 seems to work pretty well at the moment. So I've been keeping it at 6. Then I run the 4 draw PGs and 2 generic draws. Because um, this deck doesn't draw a lot, even with Excel 2, um, having the extra couple draws can actually help you get a piece or have cards in hand to defend if you really need to. So yeah that's why you do that and then you know of course four heels because they're heels so yeah that's the deck profile i hope you guys enjoyed that um it is with most decks now better with excel too because you get that extra draw um just helps you out a lot with that extra card um I, I do find this build is the best ver version of Heroes simply because you're not stuck on trying to get Valiant and Valiant isn't that good anyway. So having the multiple options means the deck is more 
unpredictable in a way because you might burn an opponent's column, you can throw down a 27k grade 3, you can get extra shield, you can, you know, have a bit of guard restrict with this guy and um, Splendor, so it is quite fun. I would highly recommend it for anyone who wants to try an Overgrappler deck, purely because it is very easy to get a hold of. The most expensive card in the deck is the draw PG. Everything else is, like, I think in the sense category. <laughs> Like, like, you could probably build the whole deck for, like, 40 bucks. Like, honestly, it's so cheap. So, yeah, that's, um, that's my heroes. I hope you enjoyed, and my next video will be on the blood. I think the Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, the blood, which I'm very much looking forward to putting on the channel. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Adios.